All right, welcome back to the news at noon. And of course, we have been following Tropical Storm Barrel right now. The latest developments out there in the coast and our reporter Daniela Ibarra and photojournalist Sal Celis are headed out to Matagorda right now. Yeah, make sure to follow us on air and online to get the most up to date information as the storm makes its way through Texas and into the rest of the country. And as it makes its way across parts of Northeast Texas later on tonight, We'll stay dry here in San Antonio. However, tomorrow night, tomorrow afternoon, there is a chance for a few showers and storms to pop up right around the time of the evening commute, as you can see in the future cast. So some of us will get some rain. Looking ahead to the seven day forecast, 40% chance of rain tomorrow. That's our best chance in the week. Otherwise, highs are going to be in the mid 90s with only isolated rain. Well, at least we are going to get some much needed rain, so that's good Fingers to crossed. see. Yes, definitely. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, look, SA Live's got all the fun. It's I a know. movie Monday out there. They're going to have themselves a good time. A lot of good food to eat. <laughs> SA Live starts right now. Today on SA Live, it's a splashing good time as we kick off the work week with ocean themed snacks. We are learning more about sharks from the experts and meeting the next generation of baby sharks. And these cocktails are making a splash. It's shark-inspired sips from a local bar as we kick off Shark Week. It's all today on SA Live. Celebrating 10 years, live from historic Market Square, this is SA Live. Good afternoon, I'm Jen Tobias Drusky. We have a thin... Welcome back to SA Live. Well, Earlier, I got to experience the fun of the Great White Roller Coaster here at SeaWorld San Antonio. So much shark themed fun to have here at SeaWorld. And Chuck Rowe, public relations manager, joins me. Girl, you see this? I the do. Great White. <laughs> it's the very first roller coaster at our SeaWorld Park. You know what? You don't even have to get in the water to enjoy this shark. You're gonna ride it. You're gonna ride it? Oh, yes, she's gonna ride it. Yes, she's gonna ride it. Yes. Come on, we're gonna do it. We'll see you. Come on. First. Come on. You first. Come on, no. come on, come on. Here we go. What's up? Yeah, top part. Taco Mom clear. Oh my gosh, here we go. Yeah, that's the train. Oh my gosh, here we go. Here we go, here we go. But you remember, Woo! just like swimming in the water, swimming in the ocean, <laughs> our great white is extremely safe. It is a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And so much happening here, right? First yeah. Shark Week. Absolutely, yeah. And you know, uh, uh, we celebrate sharks 365 days a year. But for this week, if you are a fan of sharks, you can take advantage of our ultimate shark experience. For one low, low price, you get to the admission to the park. You get to go above the scenes and below the scenes at the shark encounter and talk to one of our aquarists. You get a shark-inspired cocktail 
world if you're over the age of 21. You get a meal, you get front of the line at the Great White, all of that. It's the ultimate shark experience. You want to know more about it, then go to SeaWorldSanAntonio.com. It's good for this entire week. All right. And of course, head to our website, salive.com, for all that information. Now I got to just go sit down. I just need to sit. <laughs> you're going to be down okay. She, oh, she's going to be okay. I can't feel my legs. Fiona, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. With one screen image, can you guess the movie? We're gonna show that in a little bit, but yes, we've got Naco Mexican Eatery on as well, and they brought some seafood, and she's part of a big competition, and we're gonna tell you how you can help them. Also, forget cocktails, we're making shark tails. The pink shark is here, and they have some summer deals that we need to know about. Go ahead, add the shark, look how cute. All the shark vibes today, stay with us. It's time to quench our thirst with some beach vibes thanks to the team at Pink Shark Bar and here to give us a taste of these summer sips, we're calling them Shark Tells, right? Is owner Amber Hernandez. Thanks for being here. Thanks for and you brought, you brought your friend over there, the Pink Shark. I did, shark. yeah, the Pink Shark. Come pop in real quick. Let's see you one more time. <laughs> Do a little dance. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. You can see the pink shark yes. pop in. Yes. Oh, I love it. Pink shark. What is behind the name, by the way? You guys just like the um, beach It's vibes. kind of just a, a unicorn, really. There's no pink shark, so right. it's kind of, you know. Different. Just I like to have fun with it, yeah. Love it. Okay, so known for these cocktails. I was looking at your menu even earlier today. I'm like, ooh, they got some fun drinks. They got some fun stuff, yeah. So what are we making today? So today we're going to be making one of our signature drinks, which is going to be the shark tail, which comes in the um, tiki mug. Uh, and Super that's cute. also a souvenir glass, so you can take it with you if you do purchase a shirt. Nice. Um, okay. So this is going to have uh, Bacardi coconut, uh, Patron silver, mm -hmm. coconut cream, pineapple juice, um, some blue curacao to give that you know ocean, the ocean vibe. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, very refreshing. So we're just going to go ahead and shake this yep. one up today. So all those ingredients she's already put yes. in here. Now the coconut, I'm sure that gives it that good tropical. Yes, very vibe. refreshing. If you're sitting by by the water, yes. But keep in okay. mind, it does have rum and tequila, so oh, it's got a little okay. kick to it. All okay. Right. So we're just gonna go ahead and put that right over, and I flip it over this way and go and shake. Okay. Yeah. Now specials. You guys have drink specials? Yes. So we do have uh, drink specials for happy hour. We have anything from. Uh, ranch waters, which we're going to start. I'm going to show the trick <laughs> to this. You ready? You got to unlock it. There you go. Oh, right. You make that easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you okay. just go. Here's your strainer. We're going to pour that. And the trick to this is you got to kind of tilt that That's mouth right. open. Okay, teamwork here. There we go. Hope he's thirsty. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So is this one pretty popular? Yes, this is well, because of the, the tiki mug, so it's it's yeah, fun. That's fun. And refreshing. Um, again, it is a little a little dangerous. It'll sneak up on It'll you. It'll sneak up on you. One of those yes. drinks for sure. So yeah, but we Take do your have time with it. specials <laughs> uh -huh. that we're going to be doing for Shark Week and for the rest of the summer. Uh, we're gonna be doing ninety nine cent oysters. Oh, okay. Uh, from three to six. Starting starting tomorrow. Tomorrow. There you go. Yeah. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and garnish this guy. Mm -hmm. Got a little Cute. Let me get a little. Always have to have the umbrella. Yep. The lime that wedge. goes in there too. Perfect. And then the little trap right up here. That's so cute. Go? Okay. What are you making next? This is going to be the shark attack. So this one is going to have uh, spiced rum, pineapple juice, a little bit of peach, and some cherry juice at the bottom. Huh? Making a little bit of a mess here. Who comes up with all these recipes? Uh, I do. <laughs> nice. It's really fun um, with our concept with the shark. You can really kind of have fun with it. So. And where are you guys located? <laughs> we are on 203 uh, North Pressa. So this guy we're going to put in here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Just like that. And then I got all my stuff in here. And what are your hours? Our hours of operation are from 3 to midnight. And that's going to be Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, really just Tuesday, and then Wednesday through through Saturday, we are open till two, two a.m. Okay. So there's also some food, right? Available. Yes, we have uh, flatbreads, we have some subs, charcuterie boards as well. Um, 
Ooh, pizza. And then I the see oysters. pizza too. And then the oysters. Okay, so this is a summer deal. So people starting tomorrow yes, can get 99 tomorrow. cent oysters. Uh, you guys also have, I think, a deal on, uh, what did you say, with the beer as well? Yes, yeah. we do all, yeah. always offer $3, $3 land sharks, and that's all day, every day. Got it. And I noticed you had like some coral teas and like fun little drinks, right? We have, yes, yes we have yes. all kinds, anything really, it's full bar. Perfect, all right, well be sure to check them out. It's very fun and creative drinks there. For more information, you can head to our website. It's right there on your screen. Get your phone out, scan that QR code. It'll take you to their website. It's the As Seen on SA Live tab. And we have all the information there. Thank you so much, cheers. Thanks. Cheers. Can you guess the movie with just one image? Later we play a game where you can join in on the fun and test your shark movie knowledge. $25,000, that's how much one local chef could win in a national competition. She brought some food for us as well. We'll share how you can help her reach her goal. Stay with us. It's a big competition for chefs across the nation, and one of our very own, you just saw her right there, one of our favorites is making her way up the ranks for the Favorite Chef competition, presented by the Food Network's Carla Hall. Joining me now, Lizeth Martinez, owner of Naco Mexican Eatery, and Naco Grayson, yes. welcome. Thank you so much for having me today. This is exciting. We can't believe it, we can't believe it. We're super excited to be this far. The competition has been going for over two months, and uh, we're on the quarterfinals and we need help. Yes, yes, you do need help. So how can people help you? We'll talk about this food here in a second, but how can they help you? Well, basically there is a link and we have it on our uh, social media and um, Instagram. They're, we're always posting it. You can vote once every 24 hours or you can even buy boats and make a donation to the James Beard Foundation. Um, and it could, it could help me. We need to make it to the first place. We have three days uh, so we can move into the semifinals. Okay, and this, you're going up against people across the country. Nation. You said somebody even from New York, you're kind of neck and neck there. Yeah, Come no, on, San my, Antonio. Come it's on. my group, it's on my group. Uh, uh -huh. There's different groups, so basically they're divided and only the first place will move to the next one. It's a it, more than 10,000 people started wow. this competition and there's gonna be down to 12 for uh, in three days. So please, wow. yeah, your help will be more than uh, then welcome. We need San Antonio to help us showcase our food mm -hmm. throughout the nation and keep pushing, pushing. San Antonio has yes. amazing chefs. Yes. So we need to be showcased as well. Exactly. We love good food. And speaking of good food, you brought some seafood to go along with our theme this yes. today. Yes. Uh, We're okay. going to be making some ceviche. This is a mango ceviche. Super Ooh. refreshing. The difference on here is that it does have cilantro like every Mexican ceviche, but it also has basil. So it has a sweet Ooh. basil in there that okay. brings in a little bit of sweetness it's very good uh, that's part of our special for the summer the okay. summer you know San Antonio needs some cool dishes so we have yes. uh, starting this week we're gonna have ceviche and we're gonna have fish tacos at the Grayson location Got it. and okay. we're open there Tuesday to Sunday and uh, we close at 9 p.m. all the way to Saturday Sundays we close at 3 because we want to have some family time too. Yes. <laughs> And, and you said some of the favorites, even on the food truck, right? Let me see how we do this. Okay. Uh, the tacos, right? Yes, the tacos. I mean, the food truck's been a staple. San Antonio has always welcomed us, and we're very blessed, very, very blessed to be mm -hmm. part of the community. Um, and people support us for seven years straight. My husband's always wow. there. His face is um, there every morning trying to feed San Antonio. Yes. And uh, You can't see him, but he's behind the scenes supporting yeah, he's, her. He's awesome too. <laughs> yes, you guys are an amazing team. And these recipes, let's talk about where they come from. Well, recipes are mostly family recipes mm -hmm. or inspired in family. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them are traditional Mexican. Some of them are a twist from our own. Because mm -hmm. uh, you know, Mexico has so many different uh, recipes from the north to the south. And sometimes that even brings in some uh, beef at the house with my husband because he's like, that's not the way it's done. <laughs> and I'm like, that's the way it's done in my house. Yeah. So we usually try to pair it in, in put a middle a middle part yes. and, and make happy it happen. Medium, yeah, right? happy medium yes. is like, make, select them. And usually uh, the things turn out good when you work together. And that's that's why we're here, asking San Antonio to work together with the San Antonio chefs to try to showcase us 
in a bigger level. The 25,000, as they know, will help a small business a lot. Yes, And yes. Uh, it'll help us to keep on helping San Antonio because we're very, really, really into helping. The food bank, the charity, uh, we're doing a lot of things for San Antonio, even though we're very small. Mm -hmm. And having, a, you know, having that cushion will help us do more stuff. Yes, very well connected with the community. I noticed that you guys are always trying to give back in any way that you can. So this competition, obviously it's a huge deal. National, let's tell them one more time how they can help you. There is a QR code, there is a link. Uh, it's a favorite chef and uh, on the Instagram, in our Instagram, you can find uh, the little link and okay. you can vote every 24 hours for free. There you go. So head to their Instagram. Please. Vote for them. I'll be doing that right after this, okay? Thank you so and, much. Uh, and then go enjoy some delicious food while you're okay. at it. All right. For more information, head to our website, essaylive.com. Click the As Seen on Essay Live tab or scan that QR code right there on your screen. Thank you. Thank you. All right, our resident film enthusiast challenges me to a game where the shark-related movies are revealed. Maybe, not maybe. We got to figure out with one image. So we'll play along. You guys can play along with us. Right now, your answers to our question of the day. Which new movies are you looking forward to this summer? You can scan that QR code that's right there on your screen, and we'll find out which one comes out on top. Ryan Ramirez says, I've been waiting to watch Inside Out 2 with my lovely wife. I saw that one too, Ryan. That one was really good. Michelle, it ends with us. Yep, that one looks like a good one too. Again, I'm adding these to my list. Keep them coming. We love playing games here on SA Live. And you know what? The best part is you get to join in with us. And so does he. This is John Marr, our movie enthusiast, also producer, also photographer today, by the way. You're yeah, doing great. Doing everything. All right, what game are we playing today? So we're going to have a little movie game. We're going to put up one image that's fully covered from a movie, okay. and it's got a shark-related theme to it. So you have to guess what the movie is from the one image before it's fully revealed. OK, I'll try. I'm nervous, John. Okay, so let's get the first movie. Ready? In three, two, one. Oh, wait. Little Mermaid? Yep, you got it. Ah! Nailed that one. Okay, okay. Do you know all the answers to I these? do oh, know the answers, yes, fair. but I don't okay. know what order they're in. So okay, we'll okay. See. Ready? The next movie? Okay. Oh, do you know that one already? I do know, yeah. Too. Yep. Uh,. Hint, it's a shark. Jaws? No. Oh, oh, Nemo. Okay, yep. Finding Nemo. Got yep. it. You saw the clownfish <laughs> there. That's a, yeah, I love that scene. That's a great movie. Okay, Perfect. next movie. Damn. Do I need to <laughs> oh, do a contest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Oh, wait. Is it the Sharknado? Or? Man, you're really <laughs> good at this. How did you get that one? I don't know. I've never seen that movie either. I just guessed. <laughs> what gave that away? <laughs> that looked know. like nothing. I'm guessing. It was a blur. <laughs> All right, next one. <laughs> OK. Let's see. I like how we're both leaning in. Yeah, I know. I'm wearing glasses, <laughs> but they're clearly not helping. Oh, wait. Is this the Meg? Again, it's a shark. The Meg? No. OK. John, go. I tricked you with this one. You probably haven't seen this movie. Uh, you got you go. It is the Suicide Squad. No. The I, Suicide Squad. So it's the second one. Okay. Is that a good movie? It's a funny movie. <laughs> okay. It's very violent though. Okay. So. I hadn't seen Again, that it's one. not a gen movie. But I don't know. No, not no. a lifetime movie. Okay. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Oh, I think I know, but yeah. I'm gonna let it go just okay. to help for right. the time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Play it out. We all yeah. Know. yeah. Jaws, the classic. The classic. There we go. Oh wow, you got Jaws yeah. right there. Yeah. Okay. With the cigarette there. Yeah. Perfect. Advertising. <laughs> That's a classic. All right. <laughs> Do we have one more? Cool. I think that was the last. That's that it. One? Okay. It? So John, by the way, has been giving us all these movie reviews. Yep. Okay. So we call you the film enthusiast. That's right. Tell me what you love about that because you are a movie guy. Yeah, so I was a film major in college and uh, when I started out here at SA Live, what I loved about this job was the creativity and I get to edit and shoot things similar to a movie with this show. Um, and then our director, Jeff, had the idea of doing a movie segment, and so he pitched it to me and we started doing it. So, so we've been doing these movie segments for about a month now. So we'll see you every week, right? That's the plan, yeah, depending on holidays and 
stuff like you that. You helped me because yeah. you did the uh, what to stream, okay? So yep. I, I did. I saw the Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah, because of you, John. So yep. thank you. So nice. keep I haven't coming. seen that one yet, actually. Yeah, it was pretty yeah, yeah. good. It was nice. pretty good. You know, Eddie Murphy. All right. Well, thanks for playing along with us. Next on the show, Fiona's out at SeaWorld, and she's about to introduce us to a few baby sharks as we learn more about the species. Stay with us. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, our Fiona is out at SeaWorld learning all about sharks, and now she's introducing us to the next generation of sharks. Yes, we are meeting some baby sharks here, and joining me again is expert and senior aquarist Chrissy P. Who do we have here? These bundles of joy. Yes, yeah, so we have some baby white spotted bamboo sharks, and they actually were hatched right here at SeaWorld San Antonio. So you might be wondering, how do sharks reproduce and how did we hatch them? So uh, sharks have three different ways of reproducing. They can do live birth, they can lay eggs, or they can do a combination of the both. But these guys actually lay eggs and I have some of their egg casings wow. right here. So these guys actually were hatched from the top of here. So they'll live inside with the yolk sac and then absorb that and then How grow long? bigger. Uh, a few months. A few months. Of yeah. Okay. Yes. It takes a bit of time. Um, but here at SeaWorld San Antonio, you actually can touch one of the large bamboo sharks. Okay. Because Do you want to touch them? That's one of their parents. Okay. All right. I just looked. All right, it's not, <laughs> I thought it would be bigger. I'm glad it's not. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right, who do we have here? So we have one of our uh, adult bamboo sharks. So after a few years, mm -hmm. those babies are gonna get to be this size. Okay. And do you so, wanna touch it? Okay, Anna? when when was the last time it ate? Um, yeah, it eats every day. It eats every day? <laughs> do not worry. It, it's eaten today, okay. It is totally Hi fine. There. Hi, coming in. Hello. Oh, wow. Oh, their skin feels like it's like a little rough, it's a little rough. Right? Yeah. So actually their skin is made of something called dermodenticles and it's a word for shark teeth. So it's like the same material as the shark teeth that you are touching. Oh my God. How and cool is that? folks can have yes. an experience like this, right? So this week uh, only you have the ultimate shark experience and you can come up here and touch this shark and learn all about them and get some special things like uh, the access to the park and uh, the VIP through the ride, mm -hmm. the great white that you already rode. Oh, very nice. Yes, that's yes. right. And that, that is for the bravest, I think. <laughs> okay. Yes. So of course, for all that information, you can find it on the website, on the website. right? SeaWorldSanAntonio.com. Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you. Wings, chicken tenders, and chicken and waffles. Yes, please, chicken sandwiches too. Alamo Ranch is home to the newest Slim Chickens location. And if you haven't been, we're giving you a taste tomorrow on SA Live. Plus, get that golf swing ready. We take you to the first simulation sports shooting and golf range in the United States. It's right here in San Antonio. This one is just for grown-ups. All that and more tomorrow on SA Live. Right now, never be without AC in the South Texas region. You want to make sure you always have a backup source of electricity and your local expert John Wayne Service Company has you covered. Hi, I'm James Taylor with John Wayne's Electrical Department and today I'm going to go over our home standby generators and how they work and what it'll do for you and your home. So this is our home standby generator. Um, it's a 20 kW unit. What these systems are designed for is to provide power for your home completely automatically if there's ever a power outage. So if power goes out, this generator is gonna automatically start. You're gonna transfer over to generator power and then when utility returns, it'll shut down and you'll be back on your utility provider's power. But so what happens is over here, you will notice a transfer switch mounted on this pole. It's gonna be that third panel down there at the end. Now that is constantly monitoring the utility power coming to your home. As soon as that is lost, 
it sends a signal to the generator to go ahead and start. At that point, the generator starts and it will transfer your utility over to your generator. And then it's monitoring utility so that as soon as utility comes back, it will automatically turn your generator off. You have about a five second delay on power and other than that, a power outage is no problem. All right, my name's James, and if you have an existing generator and need maintenance or interested in a new generator, give us a call or visit us at johnwayne.com. Earlier, we asked you which movies are you looking forward to seeing this summer? There's a bunch of them out. All right, Stephanie, me and my family are looking forward to the movie Despicable Me 4. It's so good and great music, too. Samuel, Deadpool, and Wolverine. Yep, I added Wolverine to my list. Alien. Oh, that's right, Tom. I did see that trailer. That's that's gonna be a good one. Yes, Birdie! Look at the little twisters, a little tornado. I love it. Yes, I'm looking forward to that one. Jasmine, Inside Out 2. That one is great. That one's so good. A Quiet Place, day one. Everyone's talking about that one. Thank you, Tom. It's a lot Pat. of good movies this year. Yes, okay, John's back with us. I'm calling him the movie guy. Okay, so what do you think of Twisters? Are you think it'll live up? Because I love the original. I think it's gonna have the same like kind of cheese. It, it looks like very similar. Plus it's got Glenn, Glenn Powell in it. It's a Man Crush Monday there, there good old go. Texas boy. All right, so. tune in tomorrow. We've got lots more.